Okay, this is a tutorial I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, this is for complete beginners, and I'm still a beginner. I'm trying to learn, but I've noticed on some of the U Unity boards or even in Steam, um, people slam beginners. People just trying to make their first game by um, kind of bullying them, calling them asset flippers. Uh, the Unity store has these assets created by people that make these pieces um, for us to use and you shouldn't feel bad about using them. I'm, you've got a great idea. It's your idea, right? So um, don't listen to these assholes. Um, so this is a complete beginner tutorial on how to access animations that are built in to a demo scene on a purchase asset that you may not have know how to get out of without using the demo scene. Okay, so when you buy an asset, this is the HQ residential house. It's a really, really good asset. Um, making this probably took this guy a long time, and he deserves any, every penny he gets. But he didn't make a game. That's, that's for us to do, right? And you shouldn't feel bad about buying an asset from the asset store and putting your own idea of what game you want to make by using somebody else's art book. That's what they get paid for. So if you play around with the a demo scene with any one asset, of course it's going to work beautifully. But if you're a beginner, you don't know programming like these people do. So if you try to build your own game from scratch, import this asset, unless you click the, the demo scene, um, you don't know how to get to those animations, or at least I didn't know how to uh, initially. So... To all the people that bully you and say, oh, you're just flipping this HQ residential house, but you made the idea for your game. To those people that slam you, if I went back in time and when they are in elementary school and I took the wooden blocks and slapped it out of their hands saying you didn't lay those wooden blocks, go yourself, right? You think that kid would ever uh, want to play with blocks again? No. So I don't think that's what the Unity um, community is about. And I just want to uh, support people that don't know anything and have a great idea. All right. So um, I don't know if I'm going to get any hits on this, but this has been bugging me for a long time. So um, here's a purchase asset. It's a wonderful asset, um, HQ residential house. Anything you want to do in a home, you open doors, it's great. But um, again, in the demo scene, has all the buttons baked in. But when you pull this into a blank project, you may not know how to get to those animations. So that's what the purpose of this is. So for example, I want this door to open. If I go to play, walk up to the door, it won't open because I'm not in the demo scene. I don't have... I don't know how to get to that animation. And that's a pretty easy thing to do once you know how to actually find it. So all you do is you click on the object you want to open or you know opens from the demo scene. You click it and then in the inspector it shows there is an animation attached. That's the name of it. Great. I don't know how to trigger that thing. Selected. This is all the stuff for the door main. So this is the door. And this green box is what you call the collider. If you click that area, we can change how big this collider is. And this is when it's going to trigger that door animation. So we can make it wider, we can make it shorter. So I'm just going to set it for roughly the door width. And when the person probably approaches the porch, right about there. Okay. So I'm going to click the door, go to Playmaker, start a new FSM. So we click our first state, and we're going to look for a trigger. Okay, we're going to do trigger event. And we are going to specify the door. And there's our door right here. I'm going to drag it into here. So when we trigger that with our first person controller, it's going to do something. And we're going to send the event. Um, open door. I still have it selected, but I'm going to do create a new event. Call that, let us 
in. Okay. Now this is still has this red error, uh, error here. That means we just don't have anything wired up below here. So we click that. It creates a blank tab for us. And if you hold the control key, you drag up and over, and it's going to create a blank state for us. You don't have to do that. You can actually do create at a state called open door. Okay. And then we can gr drag it back over here wired up that way it's either way so click on that guy this has nothing yet so once we trigger by bumping into this green box we're going to slide over here and we're going to do something we're actually going to play that animation type in him let's play animation and then we're over here what do we want to play? We can play any animation that's built into this house, but we know we're going to play that door. We're going to specify a game object, drag that main door in. Now the cool thing is we know, or the software knows, that door anim, a door main has animations built in and attached to it, ready to use. It might have door open, door closed, or whatever it is. But if you click on next to the name of the animation, you click this, it knows. So this is the only animation available. So just click it, that's all set to go. Okay, and then once that door plays, it's asking, do we want to have a finished event, which will go to something else. We will in a second, but we'll do a finished event and create a new event. And we'll call this wait then close and we'll create that event but we won't wire it up to anything yet let's just make sure it works so the game we have maximize there so if we walked up to the door now our collider should hit that green box and oh trigger that animation there perfect now see how late that is? If that door swung towards you, that may hit your face. So you can either reverse the hinge point, but we won't fool with that any just yet. So if we click the main door, we want it to trigger earlier. So if we go back to the collider, we can grab that dot and open up a little bit more. So it opens a little bit earlier for us. Okay, and if we play, Approach the house. Now we're nice and welcome to the house. Okay, and I actually did this other places, the exact same mechanism, except I put colliders everywhere. Okay, now if you go back over here, our door is still open, but for some reason the garage door closed itself. Okay, so that's gonna. Sh I'm going to show you how I did that next. Okay, this is how I actually did the close. And again, this may or might, may not be the slickest way to do it, but um, it works for me by using the same kind of find where the animation is attached to this cabinet and then come to play it manually on a trigger. So I go up to this cabinet, opens, and after a wait time, it'll close itself. Okay? Let's see how that's done. Here's our cabinet. We click the cabinet. Here's our FSM for that. So basically on the finish state, I set the speed of the animation to zero, so it's not gonna play. And then it just jumps from straight to there without waiting, goes to the listener. Same thing that we did before, the on trigger event, it's going to go to some event I called open doors. So that's on trigger. So when we come into it, once that's done, um, it's going to set the animation speed back to the original, which is one. This is the name of our cabinet. Like we specified before, it's going to play the animation just like how you know how to do now. And then when it's finished, it's going to do something called closed door. Okay. Closed door is down here 
Actually, it's going to go over to here and jump down to, instead of closed door, closed door is this tab. It's going to jump down here to do the weight, which you know how to do, but in three seconds instead of five. And then once that is done, it goes from here to closed door. Now, the only, that's the only addition. Go here, and the only difference we have here is we control the animation speed, we set it to zero, and we set, drag the click the same cabinet thing and we set the animation time to zero so animation runs as a timeline so we set the playhead back to its original position which is zero so it jumps shut and when that is done we go back to the finished state so we can see this playing out here so now it set the animation speed to zero now we're going to jump over to here, get close to our cabinet. You see right now, listener. So we get close enough to it. It opens. And it's waiting. It's waiting, waiting, waiting until that three seconds. Plays the head, resets it back to zero, and it's waiting again. Go back. Okay. So hopefully that helps you jump in and grab any any animation from any asset in the Play Store and control it yourself easily by using triggers and jumpstart your game development, start making what you want without, uh, and ignore the bullies. I don't know what kind of games they've made, but you can make stuff right away. Just ignore the negative stuff. Okay, bye. Thanks.